So uh, round two with uh, Chad S's uh, box of Red Hots. Uh, tonight I'm going to try the um, yellow scorpion that just so happens to be not yellow. It is, yes, red. Um, I got two different pod shapes. I got the traditional scorpion shape like uh, you see here, and I'll post pictures below. And then I also got a, a longer, um, almost like a giant boot, just a little bit thicker um, pod shape. The seeds came from uh, CMP Man 1974, uh, and... Some of the pods are, uh, grow true to form, uh, yellow, uh, yellow and uh, scorpion shaped, and some uh, just so happen to turn red and have a different shape. So I'm gonna give uh, this scorpion shape a shot tonight and uh, compare it to uh, Brian's uh, yellow scorpion, which just so happened to be my first super hot. So um, should be fun. Uh, he said, Chad said that it's uh, uh, a little bit fruity and not uh, not as as hot as the dew glow I had last night and. Uh, Hopefully it isn't because that thing screwed me up all, all day today. So um, we'll give it a chance or give it a shot. Uh, it's got, a, I'd say, a little bit less less seed count from uh, the Dougla from last night. Uh, I'd say somewhere between like 18 to 25 um, in there. And uh, it's got a nice, nice chunks of placenta running down the center. Uh, I can definitely smell, as soon as I cut it open, um, that typical super hot smell that... Uh, and it's kind of lofting from the from uh, the plate uh, where it's at. I want to remove some of the, some of these seeds. Last night I got a uh, seed wrapped around my molar, um, and that was uh, not fun because I'm miserable with the heat. And then all of a sudden uh, I have to mess with this uh, seed that keeps on poking me in in the gum line. So uh, that's uh, looks ready to go. I need to get new gloves. So, uh, cheers. Mmm, firm, crisp. Almost like cool. Wow, very fruity. Um, very pleasant taste. I like it a lot. Wow, that tastes really good. Mmm. Um, I know it's going to get warm or get hotter, uh, just so right now, it, it's very slow to build so far. Um, a little bit around the tips of the tongue or, or the front of the tongue. It's very crisp. All the peppers that, that Chad sent me look um, very uh, uh, preserved well or ship, they ship very well. Um, and this one, almost springy, bounces back when you, when you take a bite into it. Like a minute in and still no real heat. I mean, I can feel a build. This is typical um, to the building phase um, on some of the peppers I've had. Um, so we'll see how, how far this takes it. Um, but I really like that flavor. It's very uh, clean, refreshing almost. Um, such a awesome uh, 180 from the Dukla from last night, which just was... Sorry, Chad. It was just terrible tasting. I mean, it'd, it'd make a great powder or sauce, um, sauce base, but... The taste was just bad. Um, this is very, very good. So, we'll see uh, how this plays out. Minute 30 in, a minute 40 in, and still no uh, real heat, which is kind of weird, um, almost. Um, I mean, it's hot, but it's not uh, starting to build a little more now. Um, it's very slow to build so far. Um, seems to come in, starts kicking a little bit more and more now. Uh, where I got to the, towards the top of the pepper, um, where the uh, placenta was more, that seems worth a little bit more heat. Uh, I can still taste the pepper. Um, the, the heat's starting to build a little bit on, on the, the, the back of the lips, like right here, underneath the tongue, um, warm in the stomach. Um, hope it's not too bad in the stomach, man. I hate that I have freaking stomach pain. Um, not too bad um, so far. Uh, as pleasant as a as a super hot can be, um, right now. When I breathe out, I can feel the heat a little more on the tongue. 
and anything else. It's warm, getting hotter, but not like overly. I kind of just want to relax, sit back, building a little bit more. Three minutes in. A little bit warmer now. Man, they love to get me to my teeth. Seems to be building up to almost like a full force right, right about now. Um, the heat is not in the throat. It's definitely all mouth. Freaking seeds. Hands are tingling a little bit. Not restricted movement, but they're definitely tingling. I got a tissue. <laughs> um, I'd say very similar to the yellow that, that Brian grew. A little bit, little bit, little bit of an endorphin rush about now. 4.30 in. Pretty juicy, um, and yet again, I mean, still, I can still taste the pepper. No real ringing in the head, it's just hands starting to tingle a little bit, can feel it in the legs and the feet. All right, Brian, this is for you. I'm going give to a, give it a try. Ooh, it is a little... It was a little rough. It's like the air that blows in your tongue when you let it hang out. It's like razor blades trying to cut back and forth. I know I look stupid, but <laughs> Brian said that when you hang your tongue out of your mouth, every time the air hits it, it's kind of rough. Wow, my hands are more restrictive than last night, but the pepper's not as hot. It's like the burps or... Every time I breathe out, I can taste that that fruity, not much citrus, but definitely fruit <sighs> taste. Now about five thirty in, not too bad for heat level. Um, I'd say it's it's definitely on the lower lower end of the heat spectrum. Um, similar to the yellow uh, yellow scorpion, maybe a yellow seven. And typically the the this this the yellows are not as hot as the red, so it's interesting that this yellow turned red, and so is it is it a yellow or is it a red? I mean, a lot of the the reds go from green to red. This one had that yellow stage in between, so. <laughs> not as hot as the, uh, the red boots or the red scorpions or... Uh, the red dugla, but I say about six in, it's just immediately my hands just went back to normal. All the tingling stopped, so I think uh, I think it's about peaked, and I'm on the down the downward slope. Um, very good, very good tasting uh, a chili. Definitely want to grow this one out. Um, it's nice that you get a, a, a good tasting flavor with the heat. It's not just like eating battery acid and hating life. You actually get a, a good flavor as it comes or as it goes throughout. So, um, Chad, thanks. Uh, I, I got a, a handful more, so um, I'll give a couple more a try. Um, overalls, um, flavor is up there with my favorite. Um, this has got to, this is probably one of my favorite tasting chilies um, that I've tried. Uh, the heat is is manageable. Um, I'd say it's on the the milder side of the super hot, so definitely up there. Um, typical yellow. Um, and uh, overall, I, I really like it. I I, uh, I give it two uh, flaming thumbs up. Um, very good flavor and, and nice manageable heat. So thanks again. And uh, I'm Matt. Uh, thanks for uh, sharing my pain.